harder than it seems. It's not letting go of me. What's there to be afraid of? Hey everyone, welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord, the host of the show. We're going to talk about ladies getting over a breakup today. Because every time I talk to women, and I have a couple of meetup groups, I have a, a male meetup group and a female group, and the one thing that the women all want to know is how they can get past this. How do they get over, whether it's a, a divorce or you know a couple years breakup, sometimes it's even just a matter of a couple of months of being with somebody and they have a hard time letting go and getting over it. But there is something that I'm finding quite repetitive with women, the ladies that I talk to. And that is basically after a breakup, they lose a lot of their self-esteem. They stop believing that they're worthy of a relationship because this has happened a few times to them now and they get very upset about it and wonder why it keeps happening to them. Well, if things keep happening to you, you have to change how you deal with the scenario. First of all, don't keep attracting the same type of, of men towards you ladies because if you keep going for the same type you're going to have the same results. I mean it's pretty common sense, right? You want to just put little things in, you know, baby steps of that you can change about what you've been doing for this long-term period. Because if you're not getting over your relationships, you know, for years, you're not dealing with the main issue of why the relationship ended. So if you're not dealing with that, you're not emotionally available to go into another relationship. I know, it sucks, doesn't it? Okay, so yes, that's so much easier said than done, isn't it? Talking to a relationship coach and she knows all the answers. Well, I don't know all the answers, but I do know the little things that can help you and that can work for you. And one of them is getting off your couch getting outside the front door of your condo, of your home, wherever you live. Because sitting there and harboring that sadness or resentment or anger, whatever it is you're dealing with, it's just compounding into a bigger place. And when that happens, you get more and more and more invested in this, this feeling that's going on within you. So when you start getting outside and doing a few things, even if it's just going and, and sitting at a park and watching kids play, something that brings you joy, that brings you happiness. Because if you don't change that thinking of what's going round and round and round in your brain all the time, you're just gonna be bringing more of it back in. And I know that sounds all law of attraction and all that stuff, but it really, think about it, it does work. When you're happy and you're smiling, you draw more of it towards you. When you're sad and you're bummed out about things, you bring more of that towards you. Get one of your girlfriends to drag you out. Put away the, the tearjerker TV shows and movies that we all want to watch to make ourselves be even more depressed. God knows why we do that, but we do. We've got to stop. If you want to meet somebody of caliber that loves you and you love them back, you've got to change up this pattern. So ladies, really the best way to get over a breakup is to think about something that doesn't involve the breakup. The less time you spend thinking about the thing that hurts you and bothers you the most, the further you will get away from it. And by including an hour a day, half an hour a day of something that brings you joy into your life, it will actually help you get over the stepping stones of this, this hurtful phase and get into a better place. And eventually, you won't want to go back into those feelings anymore because those feelings aren't a good place to be. Because you know your ex isn't sitting around watching rom-coms and eating a bunch of fattening food. They're out having fun. So you need to do the same thing and bring happiness towards you because you deserve it. We all deserve it. Okay, get off the couch, get out, and quit giving that guy so much credit. He's taking over who you are. And that's not good. Okay, thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. And uh, please send your questions to dearcybersue at gmail.com. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dear Cyber Sue. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Take a match and light the fire. I am courage. I am